Hello and thank you for joining Paper Crafting with Tracy. Today I'm going to show you a shadow stamping technique and this is a card that I did and I used Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay for this this card here and I am also using the stamp set Art Gallery and this is in the January to June 2021 calendar or catalog sorry. Uh, so it is a two-step stamping technique. For the phrase I used the stamp set So Sentimental, which I've used before. And I'm also going to be using the Stamparatus. Now I haven't used it very much, uh, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to, to use this. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get our cardstock, and I'm going to change the color up this time. Actually, I'll flip my grid paper around. You can get obviously customized grid paper for this, which is available in the catalog. So for the next card, I'm going to use Highland Heather, and this is three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm just going to lay that in here like so, line it up about one inch and one inch because I do want it to overlap. And I'll just put this magnet there just to hold the paper there. Then I'm going to get out of this stamp set, the art gallery, I'm going to get the base stamp first. So I'll just grab that here, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to position it lightly where I want it, stamp side down. So I'm going to put that there. So I want it to overhang a tiny bit. I'll turn it a little bit. Then you take uh, one of the sides of the Stamparatus. There is another set you could do here. So you could do uh, two, which um, because this is two-step, I could easily do that. So I'll just push that gently and then it puts the stamp right where I want it for this. So I'm going to use some Whisper White. And all you do is you ink, ink up right there on the stamp itself. And this one's inking up pretty heavy. Um, my ink pad, I think, must be fairly fairly wet. So I'm just going to take a piece of scrap paper. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that off. Just because I don't want it to be that heavy on my card. Um, the ink, the white does take quite some time to dry. So there we go. I'll just put a little bit there. And then I'm just going to stick it down on the card like that and stamp as I normally would. Okay. So I don't want it to be perfect. Then I'm going to flip this around. And what I didn't show you is underneath this is a foam mat. So that works well with our photopolymers. I'm going to line up the paper again, just flipping it around so I get the other corner. So it's still in the one inch by one inch. Use my magnet there. We'll ink up the stamp again. Again, just lightly. There we go. And I will ink that corner. And that's all there is to that. So I'll put this one aside. Now, as I said, this, this, uh, the white takes quite some time to dry. So I'm just going to leave it there and I'm going to take my heat and emboss tool and we'll just speed up the drying process a little bit here. And this one here actually is almost dry. Just where I've got it a little heavier there and it's coming pretty dry there. So while I'm doing this, I would just like to take the opportunity to thank you for subscribing uh, to my channel. Uh, that way you can stay up to date on new tutorials that I do. As well as uh, come on over to our Facebook page, Paper Crafting with Tracy, so that you can see more specials and, and other things that are going on as well that aren't in a video. Okay, so that's pretty close. Oh, there's a tiny bit there. If you hit the light just right, then you can see it. There we go. Okay, 
So now I'm going to get the other stamp, which is part of the two-step stamp, and I'm just going to lay it where I want it on this, okay, like so. And then again, put it on, and now I'm going to take Gorgeous Grape this time. And we'll just ink up. I don't know how this one's going to turn out because I haven't haven't done this color combination yet, but we'll see. Okay. And now I'm just going to put it down. There we go. I think that turned out quite well. Oh, you can see where my paper changed color a little bit. I actually like the effect that did and where um, uh, the magnet kept some original. That actually ended up turning out really neat because it's a little bit lighter around the flowers. Almost as if the paper had been bleached in the sun. Okay, and we'll ink that up again. Stamparatus is so easy, especially if you've got, if you're doing a whole bunch of cards that are the same. There we go. Now I'm just going to uh, get my sentiment for this one. And I think from, for this one, I'm just going to close um, some of the stuff. I think I'm going to use the So Sentimental again. And I think I'll, I might see what this wishing you much happiness today and always would look like. So all you do is stick that in and that might be too big for that. It doesn't look like there's quite enough room for that one. So let's see what the, I can't thank you enough. That one looks like that will work just perfectly. So I'm going to position it where I want it. Again, I'll take this magnet and just hold the paper down, but I get the stamp where I want it. We'll take this one off. Just like so. And I'm going to use the gorgeous grape again for this one because I want it darker. And then we'll just... There we go. Now, when I did this, I thought, oh, we're missing something on here. So from the So Sentimental stamp set, I had these little geometric shapes. So I'm just going to take some of these with the gorgeous grape again, and I'm just going to add some geometrical shapes. Just like so. There we go. And that's all there is to the stamping. So now we will assemble our card. So we'll just put all this aside. So I've got some gorgeous grape as matting. So we will just attach all this together. Get my stamp and seal here. And by matting it, it also helps to um, hold the, the shape of the card. Because when you use the heating tool, it quite often will warp the, the paper just a little bit. But as soon as you tape it, it goes back into its shape. And then I'm just using a basic white uh, card base to mount all this on. Now for the inside, I'm just going to use the same color combination.
like so. And then I will actually put a little bit of the geometric shape on the inside as well. I could have done another uh, two-step stamping on the inside, um, but I didn't want to make it too complicated. Oops, looks like I over-inked this one, so we'll just clean that off. That's sometimes the challenge, as you can see with small stamps, is if you rock it a little too much on the, the ink pad, you'll get the edge. So we'll just clean that off and start again. There we go. And there is our second shadow stamping card. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial with Paper Crafting with Tracy. Please subscribe to the channel and happy stamping.